Hey guys, welcome back to our series on budget deficits and fiscal policy. In this video, we're going to talk about Ricardian equivalence. Let's go. So Ricardian equivalence is the idea that there is a ineffectiveness of tax policy in terms of altering consumption patterns in a temporal manner. We can illustrate this through the augmented version of the RCK model's budget constraint, uh, which is right here where K naught and D naught are the capital and government bonds issued at time zero respectively. Um, just to go and make this point a little bit clearer, debt is communicated through bond issuing. Further algebra of this above identity goes and shows that we have this expression here at the bottom in our square. And the remarkability of this result is that Households only consider the overall shock of government spending, not when it occurs. This is a general result as it is not unreasonable to assume that there is a preference for when the tax cut or increase is issued. In terms of Ricardian equivalence in practice, the main reason why it does not hold exactly is due to turnover in the population, meaning that tax cuts will affect younger people differently than it affects older people. However, there's two main objections uh, with this primarily, and it's backed up uh, empirically, didn't put down the sources here. If there's a bequest motive, right, a motive to leave over inheritance from generation to generation, we can effectively view our overlapping generations environment effectively as a single infinitely lived agent. Meaning that even though people's lives in reality are finite, if we have a bequest motive there, we still end up with a situation where we're viewing this economic aggregate behavior as that of a single infinitely lived agent. The second reason is, uh, you know, not so, you know, striking, which is that the horizon of government spending and tax policy is not very long, right, with reference to someone's life. Um, and a tax cut realized in our workers' lives will be you know, realized by a tax increase within our workers' lives while they are employed. The main takeaway is that though Ricardian equivalence is important, imperfect, it tells a part of the story of government policy financing and the ineffectiveness that exists there. So um, this is our second part of our video on uh, budget deficits and fiscal policy. I will see you in the next one. Take care.